Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button and thank you to everybody who hits that like button. Really does support the channel, so thank you very much. We are going to do a reading today for the new moon happening in the sign of Aquarius on the 1st of February, the 2nd, around that time frame, depending where you live. So let's get some messages from Spirit. Let's get some cards out for you. I have, I have pulled a couple of cards here to the side some um, spiritual healing ones and a message. Um, but this, this new moon in Aquarius, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that for you. So the energy surrounding this new moon, I'm not gonna to go too much into the aspects of it. It's basically an energy where, where you are stuck, okay? So Aquarius is all about expansion. It's all about quantum all right energy so expansion going into the unlimited it's about freedom it's about humanitarian so we're going to see this on a personal scale on a, um, a socio-economic scale as well so basically what it's saying here energetically when I research the information is Aquarius is about coming up with a new way. That's the expansion. That's the quantum. It's about technology. We have new innovative ideas come through when um, Aquarian energy is involved. Okay, so come up with a new way of being and doing things. Also, this energy around this new moon is a disruptive energy. It is going to create disruption, but as we all know, with big disruption, because there is a Uranus aspect to this energy that is surprise, thinking outside the box, entrepreneurial, really doing things in a new way. So um, there is going to be a big expansion for freedom, uh, freedom of rights, be, um, a, feel, a feeling free in a relationship within yourself, whatever that is for you. So just remember, it is a very disrupting energy and anything that it is disrupting that is called for the expansion, for doing things a new way, um, coming up with new ideas that haven't been done before. Okay, so it is very expansive. I am going to add in a little bit about the negative aspects of, of the Aquarius energy, which we all need to be aware of as well. But we have a nice Venus Mars together in sort of a Capricorn energy trining Uranus. So we're going to have breakthroughs, okay? We're going to have breakthroughs um, in relationships, okay? Now that can be relationship within yourself with other, and that then affects other people. But here's the thing, though, it's, it's quite a positive aspect, but um, it's sort of more about planning get-togethers, you know, planning to go and visit friends, planning to the breaking free. So that energy, that Mars energy, where it's aspected, this is the new moon. The new, new moon is trying to break open what's been dead what's been stuck, whether it's within you or the surrounding um, aspects, aspects surrounding you, people, places, situations, okay? So that new moon breaks open what has been dead, stuck or blocked within you. Hence, the disruptive energy that is going to come through. Aquarius tries to expand you beyond, okay? So keep that in mind. The other aspect here is um, with Aquarian energy because we are now, all the planets are governed under the Aquarius energy now. We have really stepped into this energy. It is expansive, it is fabulous energy. Um, and creative energy, okay, and moving beyond um, limits that we haven't been able to move beyond before. You know, we can go into that. We're going to see technology rising, but it is about freedom, and that is what has been been challenged for us personally and also economically um, for many, and for many, you know, that social our social uh, restrictions that have been happening. So there is going to be. Um, like an overturn, like a flipping of a lot of things, particularly around government, around rules, around the, the, there's, a, there's a real fight for freedom here. One thing about the Aquarian energy, now we're under that Aquarian age, is we've, we've studied many, many um, 
aspects over those you know many years now about opening up connecting higher connecting to the higher that's going to be um easier to access now but we do have to remember aquarius has a shadow side like every single sign and that shadow side is about having no boundaries so if you have issues around boundaries or you can't put boundaries in with people that's going to be a big issue um, aquarius energy can be very detached so what I mean by that, they're in their own bubble, they're in their own world, they don't really see how it affects other people. Now, some people are going to say right here, hang on, they're the humanitarians, they help people, that's not correct. But there's always a light and a dark, a shadow and, and an, a positive and negative, I should say, aspect of every single sign. So you're not born a humanitarian. If you are great, you've been born under the um, with Aquarius energy, let's say, or you have Aquarius in your chart. You may be born with a humanitarian, you know, and you're stepped into that higher octave of that. But if you, let's say, let's use an example. If you're an Aquarius, that doesn't mean you're humanitarian. It means your journey this lifetime is to become that, to learn that, to live outside the bubble, okay, the detachment. So we're going to get a lot of things in people. We'll be working more on, rather than going up, we'll be working more on grounding. You know, we, we're seeing it. People are feeling more unstable, more ungrounded. Um, I know for a fact, you know, I've got friends that are nurses, mental health is really suffering because there is no boundaries. It's we've got more choice than ever due to the Aquarian energy, which is fabulous. But sometimes we can have too many choices, too ungrounded. People can get lost in that. So, you know, we what's going to come back around for people is finding grounding, boundaries, remembering to think how your actions or what's going on for you affects other people. They will be the main issues of, of, the, of the future, how it's affecting other people. And we kind of are seeing that. Um, out in the world with the current situations that people are not seeing. They're, they're making a rule or a decision, let's say, hypothetically, and they're not actually really looking into how that's going to affect other people in each and every circumstance long term. So we get, that's where all these clashes, that's where all this disruptive energy is coming from. So that's just something to think about for future, for energy, you know. You may need to get grounded and feel more grounded um, in this Aquarian energy. You know, every energy, every, every sign has a, has a positive and ne negative aspect or a higher or lower octave that we are to move through. And probably most of us, not everyone, you, you, most people would have Aquarius in their chart or have Aquarius move through their chart at some stage. So, you know, this isn't just about being an Aquarian or, or um, anything like that. So maybe even find where Uranus is in, in your chart. That would be good because that's also expensive expansion and surprise and change and entrepreneurial seeing things a different way so um, that's a breakthrough okay so just keep all of that in mind I think we're going to get some breakthroughs I really think this new moon is going to open things up yes when something's opened up it does create disruption so just remember that okay and and really where are you stuck where can you come up with a new way of being or doing? And, um, and you know, depending on uh, where you're at within yourself, um, let's get some messages. Yeah, wisdom. So they're really asking you the light. So that's all about expansion. And we've got the shadow. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. So really wisdom is coming through. That could be you being enlightened, some wisdom, some information coming out. Wisdom is learning. You know, when something opens up, when we find out how or we keep ourselves stuck or what keeps us stuck, okay, or in a cycle or not growing, you know, that's where the wisdom comes, you know, when you master something. And look what came out, 18 and 19, 19 and 18, the dark and the light. Just as I was speaking, with every, when the light comes through and awakens or, or unstucks you, <laughs> shows you where you're stuck, 
Um, we do have to look into our shadow, our mirror side, see? So, and I do think this is this is what this is all about. And even above, the, you know, there's a mirror image of him and we've got light here and we've got more, a more shadowed side here. So that's really interesting that the light and the shadow has come out. And also where the shadow has been overpowering the light overpowering the light coming through yeah firm foundation whatever wisdom is coming through it is going to create a new foundation a firm foundation for you there's the breakthrough but you know foundation is boundaries foundations is um, um, building from learning building on from learning yeah wow Oh, base chakra, firm foundation, and in that picture is the base chakra followed by the base chakra under the light. So I can see that's 19 on a 1. So 19, 9 and 1 is 10, that's a completion, that is, a, and 1, 1, 1, new beginnings. There is definitely new beginnings coming with this Aquarian new moon for people. Wow. Breakthroughs. Yeah, the shadow side within relationships, there it is. There it is. We're going to have some clarifiers on this. What is the message that needs to come out for the collective spirit? Um, it's definitely going to disrupt some foundations. Um, and remember, foundations are belief systems, homes, environment, things you're built on, the way you do things, okay? The decisions you make are from those bases, okay, those foundations. And um, it looks like we're really looking into it. We're going to see another side. This person's being forced to see another side of a situation. Um, and six represents relationships and getting harmony in relationships. So isn't that interesting? And the card, no, not yet. Spirit said I've got some cards over here. Yeah, oh my gosh. It's come straight out. We've got the Four of Pentacles here. He is being stuck. He's being stubborn. He's being rigid. He is not flexible. We have the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles is very focused on his money, on his security, on his abundance. But look how stuck up in his head he is. This person is thinking, he, she, there's no gender. Put place it where it fits. He very stuck up in their head, depression, stuck, thinks thinking something over and over and over. You remember that old saying, if you keep doing something the same way <laughs> and expecting a result. Yeah, this is about a very uh, stuck, fixed energy here. Um, and it, it's it's really creating someone to be unhappy. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, this new moon, um, stuck stubborn, not willing to be flexible. Hanged man reverse is not seeing something clearly, not seeing another perspective. He's seeing that he, whatever, whatever, from an upside down perspective. Somebody is going to get a real awakening. Some truths are coming out. Yeah, and and there is going to be some unhappiness, or maybe you know this is this is walking your talk, being in your abundance, being authentic, being um, oozing magnetism, you know, being in your alignment, the light, your alignment, okay. And reversed, it's not. It's not. And this person's up in their head, possibly uh, mental health, depression, sad, reminiscing, being stuck, going over something in your head, um, rigid, unable to be flexible. Now, the Queen of Swords in reverse, we all know, if you listen to my YouTube readings, that is not a nice card to have. Queen of Swords in reverse, highly manipulative person um but isn't it funny on this energy you're either dealing with someone who's in this energy very stuck very stubborn very manipulative um very calculating very um you know she's wielding the sword of um truth um she's good with words she's good with mental manipulation communication manipulation he she by the way um, that creates this this uh, conflict, this, this, let's call it depressive energy, heavy energy, stuck energy. Um, that 
could even for some be, or you're dealing with someone with severe mental health here. I'm just going to get a few messages. So don't get stuck in that if that's you. Don't create that for you. Queen of Swords in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. Uh, sorry, Five of Cups upright. Queen of Swords. Oh, Tower. Yeah. So this this person, whoever this is, this could be you. It could be. It could be someone else. The tower is an, a, a, by the universe. It's going to happen. It's a major awakening. Uranus surprise, change, shock, whatever. This is a major wake up call. Somebody is about to get a major wake up call. It's it's about something they have communicated or try in their communication. So you know how? Let Let's use an example. Just an example. If 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 someone was highly manipulative in their communication skills or um, very ruthless, very cold, very cutting, you do this or you won't get this. You know, this person rules with an iron sword, an iron fist. They have to get something out of it. They don't just give to give. It's a deal. It's a business deal. Okay. They don't just come in and give like an empress or anyone like that. They come in with an agenda with to receive. And they do not give unless they're receiving. So be aware of that. But there's a massive tower here. There's a surprise awakening. Someone's about to learn something. Let's find out about the hanged man. Yeah, this person needs to go very inward. And I feel for some of you, you've been very inward. You have been ignoring this. This is someone who has been ignoring this, not seeing things clearly, seeing things from an upside down perspective. And they've been very inward. They haven't been ready to come out and face this or deal with this or process this or they've been processing this. They've been looking at their foundation. They've been gathering their wisdom. Um, yeah, the conflict card. They're really focused on their security, stability, their happiness, their home, how they make money. It could be basically um, your stability. Let's just say stability in happiness, in abundance, in your home, in your money. There's a lot of conflict here and someone is not in alignment or you don't feel in alignment. This is walking your talk. This is oozing magnetism that attracts abundance. Now, in reverse, that's not happening. And this person's being forced here to sit and look at why. Why? What are you stuck in? What are you stuck to? What's codependent? What is holding you back? What's keeping you stuck? And that could be you. That could be you within you. Is it boundaries? Is it, you know, go through the list. You'll know. Um, and, and, and we've got the five of wands. There's, that's arguing, fighting. That's going to be the disruptive energy. That's disruptive energy, whatever it is. And then we get hit with that tower, that queen of swords, that person who's incredibly resistant. They are not budging. They, they, this is not someone who negotiates. They don't negotiate. There's a tower and awakening either to that person or around them. Let's get some more clarifiers. I didn't miss. Queen of Wands in reverse. Temperance in reverse. Now, isn't this interesting? I think this is validation. This is about moving forward, the future. This is the bigger picture, allowing the cycles to unfold naturally. Okay, natural cycles of the universe that were meant to happen. Natural paths that were meant to happen. You know, people many, many, many um, who are meant to be with certain people and there's interference or there's been conflict or whatever. That's just an example. I'm trying to give quick examples really fast. Um, let's say conflict of, you know, the bigger picture, your future, what you wanted, what you planned. Um, someone stepping in creating disharmony this is harmony this is this is things flowing naturally nicely you know nothing getting in the way all of that and so whatever it is whatever it is for you you will know um what we've got here is conflict and disharmony and he is looking at his pentacle and why no abundance is coming in why nothing's flowing in why I'm being blocked, and I think this is what's going to be revealed around this new moon. Um, and when we had him stuck here, the hanged man, the um, hermit card, and now we've got the queen of wands in reverse. 
Now I'm gonna give you two scenarios here. This person was stuck, they haven't been seeing the picture clearly or in another way or whatever it is, or, or um, seeing another um, perspective, you, that could be the hangman. Um, they were very inward, they're not ready to deal with it or they couldn't deal with it or they had to process it and do some soul searching but they couldn't see, they couldn't take action. Queen of Wands is about taking actions, following through, knowing your worth and doing it. She follows through to the end. He, she, it's an action, not an energy, uh, not an agenda, sorry. Um, so, okay, that's one scenario. The other scenario here with the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the conflict card, the harmony card, the natural cycles flowing and opening to the future, the temperance balance in conflict, upside down, queen of swords upside down. We've got a tower here, yeah. With the queen of wands upside down, dark arts person, uh, we call them, dark energy, toxic energy, people who sabotage, people who uh, manipulate. I can go on and on and on, okay? People who literally do ritual work, maybe, spell work. And, and spell work and ritual work can be just energy work, someone who purposely manipulates or controls someone else's energy through verbal, through threats, through my way or the highway, someone who rules with an iron frisk, all of that type of energy, you know, I want something from you, I'm going to take it, that energy, we've got a tower, they blocked your options, or your dreams, this is someone who either shuts down someone's dreams, shuts down someone's options, that's what the tower is about, that's what's going to be revealed, and this is someone who created conflict in this person moving towards their future, or is, and you're not seeing it, or you're not seeing it within yourself. It's either the people, place, situations around you, which means there's something in you, or it's you. You're not seeing something. You can't see why this isn't flowing. Why isn't it unfolding? Why aren't I moving towards my future? Why isn't everything harmonious? Why have I got so much conflict here? Why aren't I oozing this magnetism? Why aren't I in an alignment? We've got a king, we've got a queen of swords here, male or female. In reverse, both times. This is this is highly toxic energy, and I don't care how they do it. Through verbal, through whatever, you haven't been able to see it, or you haven't been willing to deal with it, or you you've you've locked it in, and this 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 person definitely has control or has been able to manipulate or create this disharmonious energy that's not flowing for you towards your future. Um, there's the tower card. This person is unwilling. I, they, they purposely, that's the shock. I think the shock's going to be that you find out someone, it could be you, it could be the other person, was purposely blocking these opportunities for you, purposely. Now, um, let's get another message. Let's get something else from that. Um... Because it's interesting. I'm just going to jump to this for a second. That's one of the native spirit cards that I pulled out. Beautiful cards. Freedom. I got the horse. Now that's about, um, you know, not doing things based on other people's um, uh, conventions, like um, ideas, um, beliefs, um, what others want you to do. That's breaking free from the norm, from what the family thinks, from what the, the society thinks, from what from what, you know, what's deemed the right thing. This is about having freedom, not conforming. Not conforming. And Thunderdrum is all about ceremonial work. It's about conjuring up the energy to break through stuckness, let's call it, because of this reading and what the new moon's about. Thunderdrum is energy that is built up calling in for you to step through to the new. What is the light and the shadow calling you to do? The light is coming through to awaken, to step you through into that shadow, back into the harmony where you've had disharmony with the temperance in reverse and conflict. So it is good. 
It is good. And, and interesting, interesting, the other card I pulled out, I think this is called the Chakra Cards or something. I just pulled this out as well, like an overall energy. It's truth. Truth. 23.5 change. And we all know truth is most of the time not pretty. <laughs> looking at the shadow yes see clarity in reverse nine of wands in reverse that's about clarity direction moving forward someone has not been able to move forward not seeing a, a, the perspective properly not taking action they're too inward they're not facing anything there's an offer here coming here someone's going to reach out speak out ah that Queen of Swords in reverse with the Five of Cups, the negative energy, whoever that is, that could be you, that could be someone else. The Tower's hitting, we all know the Tower. Yeah, they definitely see you moving forward, you having the knowledge, you having the information, you having all the answers, you to make a decision, to move forward. This is moving on to Karma Waters, reversed. Someone here doesn't want to be someone to be moving on to karma waters or someone here purposely creates conflict or sabotage or interference or uh, ultimatums, let's say, or and or and or this is someone who, who doesn't want to work with you, who, who is really willing to not work with you um, and they're totally doing it so that you don't move on to your ideas, options, opportunities, move on to karma better waters. That like you know it's it's silly. It's it's I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. That's that's wrong. So apologies. It's not silly. It's it's um, what I meant by that was wasted energy. You know, it, you, you're not blocking the divine. You may be holding up timing. You may be holding up, um, if you're holding up someone's destiny, if, you're, if you know something's ending and you're trying to save it from not ending, we're, yes, we're meant to put in the work to see if we can heal it, resolve it, fix it. But if, it, if you keep continuing and you're pushing past into manipulation and control and blocking someone's blessings and all this sort of thing or opportunities or whatever, you know, the divine, you can only do that for so long. You, can, you can't block the divine. You're, you're only blocking the inevitable within yourself or within outwardly or inwardly. So that's what I meant by wasted energy and... and there's another message here I'm trying to get out. Just give me a minute. In that, in that you let, you know, let's say you're trying or someone's trying to block you moving forward or you're trying to block yourself moving forward. You know, what happens? The universe steps in and gives you a tower, a lesson. A, you've created a karma that you now have to go on a journey and learn. That's what I meant by wasted energy, not just wasted energy about putting in an, in an effort to heal something or hold on to something or block yourself. No, no, no. What I meant was, um, you know, the tower brings positive karma of negative karma. So you will learn something. That's why we have to go with the flow. Temperance, allow things to unfold naturally. Evolution, evolve, moving towards the future. Um, and anyone or anything that brings conflict into that, that is becomes a sabotage, a negative energy, a toxic energy, a codependency energy that is not divinely in alignment. You might learn a lesson. You might learn a growth or a truth within yourself. That's how we grow but there's just easier ways to do it. That's what I meant by the energy. There's easier ways to do it. There's better ways to have more positive karma rather than a negative tower hitting. You know, for some of you, can we have some positive cards? <laughs> Outcome, yeah, look at this. There, there is, uh, there's the moon. Uh, a moon, a lot of emotion, wrapping up a karmic cycle, looking at shadow sides, making a decision, the sword of truth. The king of wands brings a sword of truth. Um, practical, logical, uh, can push his emotions aside, he, she. Um, I just think it's about uh, uh, truth. 
you know, does bring the seal of truth, whether it's harsh, you know, maybe this is about some of you having to stand up and speak up and speak your truth to yourself or someone else. Maybe it's about um, the facts. You know, maybe it's about, you know, the paperwork, looking at his pentacles. Why isn't it flowing? Where's my abundance? Where's my money? This could be a financial thing that has to be looked at. Bank accounts. Where's this money going? It can be something like that, you know. This is a businessman, business mind. He's got his business hat back on. He can be harsh. He can be um, a little cold at times, but it gets the job done, Um and now look at the receiving, look at the money coming in. So it's nearly like the karma, the test. The test of this new moon is about trying to expand you, trying for you to come up with a new way, disrupting your energy, expanding you beyond your limits, where you've been stuck, where energy is stuck, where abundance is stuck, who, what, where, when, how, um, where you're being resistant to look at that or dealing with someone like that, place it where it fits, um, where are they very, it's like this energy is very like a business deal, whether it's a relationship or a money issue or how fixed you are in a belief system or the way you do things. It's a very fixed energy here. Very stubborn, very a deal, you know, or if I give to you, I want that from you. If I'm not getting that, then you're not getting that. It, it's very, it's cold. There's a coldness here that I don't like. Yeah, we have the lovers card here. So this, this is a choosing between your higher and lower self, your light side or your shadow side. Okay, it can be a choice between two paths, two partners, your higher or lower self. Okay, um, lower self, I just heard someone, I just heard, give me an example of a lower self. Lower self is someone who chooses, a, let's say, a path for quick fixes, quick hits, quick, fast, um, oh, you know, when you go to something, what's a good example? Um, you went for passion and lust and quick fix and quick hit, no matter what that is, that doesn't have to be a relationship, that can be money, quick, fast, whatever. It doesn't have any base, firm foundation, right? Or you can choose your higher self where you're in higher evolution, expansion, putting in the work, making the changes, working through things. It's just basically making your choices with a firm, for a longer state, longer term foundation. That's the only example I can kind of give you at the moment. It's probably, I hope that makes sense. Okay, what other messages do we have? We've got a little bit of time. Let's get some, let's pull some different cards. And let's get some other energy. What is a message for the collective here? Another message. Collaboration, three of pentacles, four of cups. Yeah. Okay, so they're asking you, it's, it's interesting, I did say, you know, the new moon, it, it's good for planning gatherings, so we have the three of pentacles here, this is collaborating with people who, you know, the builder needs the architect, the architect needs the builder, you know, they all collaborate, they all know each other's work, but um, they all work together, they all build together, you know, it is collaborating together. Now, um, the disruption is going to put some people in. See how she's focused on this one empty cup, but there's all these other full cups here. That's disappointment, that's regret. Um, there's either imbalance or a choice has to be made. Yeah. Celebration. <sighs> yeah. There definitely will be a walking away, decisions made. Um, this could be where you're not happy. This is where you feel alone. You can be in a relationship and feel alone. You can be in a job and feel alone, unsupported. You can, whatever. It could be someone being left behind, a choice, a decision that needs to be made, or an imbalance. Two things here. This is either an imbalance in your energy or your life that is creating this negative energy, this, this um, poverty energy, this lack of energy, okay? or someone needs to make a decision about themselves or others, vice versa, um, and someone will be um, 
left or alone or put out in the cold, abandoned, rejected, we can go into that. Um, but, and see, this is this may be a very heavy um, choice or decision for someone. So they're only looking at the negative. They're only looking at this one cup, not what could come in. But the fated wheel of change is change that is destined to happen. The wheel spins. Now we can choose a higher or lower self action or you know we make a choice that way or that way and that we either get good karma or you're on the bottom of the wheel getting the negative karma based on what your situation is so i can see here that it's a heavy decision to make it could be someone deciding with the with the two of pentacles you know what do i choose what do i choose what do i choose what do i like what do i like what do i like what job do I want? What career do I want? Um, it, it's decisions. You get what I mean? And it's heavy. Um, if that fated wheel comes in for some and you don't get a choice, the towers hit, things are exposed, again, look at these other three positive cups, not that one empty cup. The change has come in for a reason. Now, we have collaboration of a, a groups, friends, like-mindedness, okay? So there is going to be a pull to want to, you know, connect with like-minded people. Boop. Yeah, the universe is stepping in. Here we go. That could be a decision made, a final decision made, a judge, a judgment, that type of thing. Um, the Hierophant is, is generally quite, to me, it's my universe card. It's my universe card, our faded wheel of change. This is quick action being taken by the, the king, king knight of, of wands. Fast action, passion. Something's going to be alerted here. Something's going to be alerted and fast action or an epiphany or awakening or an, a passion or an expansion, okay? Um, Oh, this this making a decision or imbalance so an imbalance in your energy or an imbalance in um uh, like being around people that are negative for you toxic for you creating like a positive po poverty energy um or you feeling alone abandoned out of the cold maybe someone's giving more than the other person and they're not feeling you know um respected or, or great uh, you know the gratitude coming because we've got the conflict card again We've got conflict here, fighting, but people, high priestess, king of cups, knight of swords, passion again, passion, quick action, back to those, oh, back to those, they, okay, this is about someone finally seeing where they want to go, why they want to go, because remember these options, they were in reverse before. They are in reverse under the tower, the moving forward to calmer waters, choices, having all the information flowing with the current moving on. They are in reverse. And look at this. All of a sudden, it's upright. So this person finally... See, the fated wheel of change with the high priestess is a higher calling. It's a spiritual contract. It's the higher divine. We've got the high priestess and the high hierophant here. That's the divine, the double divine stepping in. I've got to wrap it up. We're at 35 minutes. All of a sudden, this person knows where they want to put their passions, their ideas, um, and, and all of a sudden, they're open again. These options, these opportunities. Maybe they're seeing their opportunities where they didn't see them before because they were just focused on this one cup. Empty cup. And the universe says, we have so much more for you and there's spiritual contracts here. This is big, guys. Whatever's happening, it is big. It is above you. It is all about intuition universe. You remember here I said someone was trying to block the universe, the future, the, the, the cycles, the temperance in reverse is about your, your future naturally unraveling. Something or someone or you was interfering in that and now the divine's stepping in and bringing back the um, ideas, um, creativity, options. I don't know, it'll be different for everybody. Um, and that's what this tower is about, this new moon. And that's why we've got Uranus, expansion, surprise, um, creativity, thinking outside the box, Aquarius energy, expansion, uh, uh, going beyond your current stuck um whatever it is for you and it will be truth the truth
truth. What does the truth do? What's the saying? Sets you free. The truth sets you free. And that's, what you're, that's what's being conjured up. That's what's being conjured up by the thunder. Um, so there it is. There is your spirit message for the new moon. Um, take care. I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to run out of time on the clock. Okay, see ya. Bye.